going to turn now to Don Granice. He is also out there in a different location. Now, Don, we've been talking a little bit about this situation. It sounds like they were actually launching gas into the home. Uh, you've been talking to neighbors out there. Uh, what are the neighbors saying about this situation? Uh, I understand a lot of them can't even get inside. Yeah, I mean, as you can tell just from the situation happening right now, all day long, it's been really tense. But as soon as officers established their perimeter here and it started to be a real presence here, they all had to hide indoors. That's where many of them are still tonight. Now, they, uh, there's also a perimeter set up that was set up by OPD around this neighborhood. Many of those re residents that were home, they had to run indoors. Now on the outside of the perimeter right now, there are parked cars with people who live here that can't make it home. I caught up with one man who just got back into town from a trip. He doesn't quite know where he'll be sleeping tonight, but he knows the name of the man that is in question in all of this situation, but not much more than that. The party that happens to be involved here, um, I don't think anybody really knew him tremendously well, maybe on a first name basis, but, but that was about it. So yeah. would you like to be reunited with your family tonight? Ah, that'd be great. That'd be great. But uh, I'm not sure if that's going to happen. We'll, we'll just have to wait and see. I actually spoke with Randy's daughter, Olivia, earlier on our newscast today, if you were watching those. She is still stuck inside their home, three doors down from the standoff with other family and sheriff deputies tell the family if they need to leave, they may be able to find a way to escort them out. But at this time, everyone is still on a holding pattern. Now, a lot of these people, you know, for the most part of today, they were stuck indoors and it was very calm. Uh, after the tent situation right at the beginning, it was very calm. Everyone's just kind of been hanging out at home, watching TV, watching the news coverage. But I'm sure right now, as everyone can kind of hear these noises, is that we've been hearing just every few seconds it is a little bit tenser out here so we will continue to follow these developing situations but for now we're live out here Don Gernice WWT 6 News. All right Don thanks for that live report.